What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Zaynomics Gaming. Today we are talking about the Glissando 47 Scout Rifle. I hope I'm saying that correctly. If I'm not, oh well, it is what it is. But this weapon was for sale by Banshee not too long ago and it did have some interesting perks that I wanted to try out, especially since it is Strand. So it is a Strand weapon. Now with this being a Strand Scout Rifle, it does work very well with all of our Strand builds, of course and uh, i believe it is the only 180 strand scout rifle in the game currently right now especially since banshee has been selling this pretty regularly because i did get another role that happened to have hatchling but once i seen this role um, with keep away and box breathing i had to take it inside of pvp just to see how it performed and of course with box breathing you are able to get that 0.67 time to kill now with guardians rocking tier 6 resilience or less you're able to get the two crit and the one body and that will secure the 0.67 time to kill. If they are rocking higher resilience, you will need three crits to get that 0.67 time to kill value. And it's very easy to do, especially with scout rifles. Scout rifles, you wanna play your part, just pretty much just lane, and then you're able to get those kills easily. For me personally, I feel like scout rifles are in a very good spot, whether it's in PVE and PVP. Um, as far as PVE goes, it performs very well, but I still rather use either Randy Stolen Knife or Hung Jury, especially since it has kinetic tremors. Now I know this does play with Strand, so this past week with Devil's Lair, I was using a lot of Strand builds, and this scout rifle would perform very well with those builds with it being Strand. But for me personally, if I had to just take an overall pass on scout rifles in general, I'm going to go with Hung Jury all day long for um, the PVE side of content. Now this is not a bad scout rifle at all. The big thing with Hung Jury is you actually have to grind for it, especially if you want that depth roll. Now the major thing with this scout rifle is it's very good, it performs very well, it's strand, and Banshee sells it, so you don't have to do any work. There's n there's no work with it. All you have to do is go to Banshee, buy it. Now, given the fact that you want to check Banshee daily, especially if you play this game a lot like I do, um, there are a lot of other people that grind this game continuously, and if you happen to be on, it's it's in your best interest to go ahead and check with Banshee just to see what he has. I happen to get lucky. I acquired two rolls from him on separate occasions. One role had reconstruction and hatchling, and then my other role had keep away and box breathing. And by no means are the roles that I have complete god roles, but they do put in work and they're free essentially. So right now we're going to get into my recommendations if you are grinding for the Glissando 47 and if you plan on investing your time into this weapon. Now one important thing about this scout rifle is it can reach up to 78 meters. So we don't have to spec too much in range. So from a barrel perk, I'm going to recommend arrowhead break or either flu to barrel, corkscrew rifling. Those two are very well. Hammer forge rifling I would use maybe for PVP, but you don't necessarily need it. It already has good range. And then for my mag perk, I'm actually gonna go with a extended mag or a pended mag. And the reason being is I wanna have as many rounds as possible. Of course, a pended mag would be the go-to just because you get the plus two and there's no negative benefits. Whereas if you use the extended mag, it does hurt your reload speed and your handling, but you do get a plus three. I don't really know if that's worth it. If you get extended mag, I would just hang on to it just because these drops are very rare and I've only seen Banshee sell these um, specific scout rifles. So I would hang on to it if you do happen to get a mag perk that you don't necessarily like. Doesn't mean that it's a god roll, but it doesn't mean it's bad either. And for that third trait column, we have a bunch of different um, perks. Um, I believe the two that really stand out the most for me are overflow and reconstruction. Obviously, you're extending that mag even further, and those two would be the typical PVE perks. Um, me personally, I'd rather have overflow um, instead of reconstruction, but like I said, I do have a reconstruction role with Hatchling that Banshee was also selling. Both of those perks are fantastic. And then for that final trait column, I'm actually going to go with box breathing or hatchling. Hatchling works good if you are using a strand build, you're able to create those threadlings. But box breathing, since you're laning so much, you're able to get um, that high damage shot in pretty consecutively. Um, as long as you're aiming down sights and you're giving it that one second or so to proc, you will get that higher damage number. Now for PVP, the recoil direction on this is terrible. 
Um, so I suggest going for arrowhead break just because you get that plus 15 or you can go with fluted barrel so you can have that additional handling. Now you can go for hammer forge rifling or corkscrew rifling. Those work very well as well. Um, I don't recommend any other perk other than those but like I said if you do happen to get something else and that's all you have I would just keep on grinding for the roll that you actually want. Now for that second trait column, I am gonna go with high caliber rounds just because it gives you that plus five in range and it does knock your enemies back a little bit more. It does create more flinch. And then for the third trait column, I am gonna go with keep away. Keep away is just a fantastic um, perk. It gives you increased reload speed, range, and accuracy when no combatants are in close proximity. So you are bumping up three um, traits essentially and uh, it's very easy to do on a scout rifle because a scout rifle you're going to play at distance anyway no distractions is pretty good as well if you happen to get that roll but i definitely recommend keep away keep away is a s tier perk and i highly advise a lot of you grind for any weapon that has keep away if you're using it for pvp and before that final trait column opening shot or box breathing i recommend box breathing simply because you're able to get the three um, tap pretty easily um, there's no setup there's nothing that you have to do now, I know a lot of people are gonna say hey what about cascade point cascade point is a cool perk to play with but there's way too much setup to it and I don't advise even wasting time with it if you happen to get a roll at cascade point cool go ahead with it but it does it's, it's a draining perk you'll spend most of your time trying to actually proc the perk before you can actually ever even use it by the time you're able to use it you're dead you spend too much time thinking about the variables to proc cascade point where i don't even feel it's worth it to even use box breathing is just so satisfying you can sit there lane land your crits and then get the three tap very consecutively all the time easy and then of course for our origin trait we do have zero synergy and the easiest way to proc this is you just fire one shot reload it will grant 40 handling and then you get a plus 20 percent flinch resistant and this lasts for six seconds so it's easy to proc all you gotta do is just shoot around reload um and you can see some of these perks are counterintuitive with Sero synergy so if you are using reconstruction or overflow that will obviously hurt you so i don't advise you using that inside of pvp so definitely it would be no distractions or keep away but for sure keep away would be the role or the perk that I would actually go for in this third column and then box breathing for sure. And like I said, guys, you got to check Banshee. Banshee is always just selling random crap and you never know when something good may come along. And of course, in Light GG, um, for PvP, they are rating this a 4.3 and then for PvE, they're rating it a 5.0, which is very, very acceptable. It's a good, it's a good weapon and it is strand, so it does play in with that strand kit. Well, that's going to do it for me, guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you're actually grinding for this weapon or if you have it. Or if you're actually checking Banshee daily. He does sell some pretty good stuff and you never know, especially for my new players out there. Um, if you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like the video and consider subscribing to my channel. It is a free way to support me and I greatly appreciate it. I will have some more videos coming out later this week. Thank you all so much. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next video.